It's rookie draft player spotlight live on location, Mobile, Alabama, for the Senior Bowl. Kane Coulter, Northwestern wide receiver. Day three is now in the books. I thought you had a good practice, but tell my listeners and viewers what you think. It was pretty good, you know. Obviously, no practice is perfect, and uh, you know, there's definitely some things I could clean up. But you know, the biggest thing is we're out here competing. You know, everybody here at the Senior Bowl has, has proved that they're great players. So I'm going against you know great DBs, and I'm surrounded by great you know, receivers and quarterbacks. So you know, everybody's out here competing, trying to get their best foot forward. And that's what I tried to do today. When did you find out about the invite, and how stoked were you, and what kind of prep have you put into this event? Uh, I found out. Uh, Probably a week or two after our, our season finished, and uh, you know, I was really excited. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's an honor to be um, invited here. It's definitely the, the premier, you know, uh, all-star game. And uh, you know, as far as preparation, I went down. I've been down at IMG, you know, working out with, with some you know premier talented guys, and uh, you know, trying to put my best foot forward, learn some more receiver stuff because I was always in the quarterback room. So I feel like I have a lot to learn, but you know, I put in a lot of work, and you know, hopefully, it's showing out here. It's definitely showing in the quickness. I saw in the drills, the cones, the short cones, you're in there, quick in and out breaks. Uh, what kind of 40 time and shuttle times do we expect? You're looking awful quick out there. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I might be a little bit more quick than I am fast, but you know, I'll definitely you know, run, run a pretty good time. And uh, you know, our coaches at IMG are definitely getting us ready. So uh, I'm gonna go out there, give it my all, and you know, hopefully it's something good. What kind of feedback are you getting from teams? Do they want you in the slot? And uh, what other roles they talk about? Yeah, I think uh, you know they definitely see me in the slaughter in that receiver position. I think they like that I have that quarterback mind and, and I'm able to you know know the playbook and you know learn you know how to beat certain coverages and techniques and things like that. So I think they're happy with that. And you know I think if I get with a uh, uh, you know pretty creative offensive coordinator, they might put me in a lot of positions where I could succeed. And you might see me all over. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you know hopefully you know I get picked up and and uh, I'll be really happy about that. Oh, it's, I see a number of roles, yeah. Wildcat Coulter. Yeah. But uh, the program, it's, it came into resurgence with you, uh, taking a big part in that. What does it mean to leave Northwestern better than what you found? And that, that was my mission, you know, coming into Northwestern is, you know, we weren't a football powerhouse at that time. And we had struggled for, for you know, a number of years. But, you know, going in there, you know, getting our first bowl win and, you know, I don't know how many, like 60-something years and, you know, having the first 10-win season and, in a long time, it means a lot. And uh, you know, the coaches did a great job recruiting guys and, and the players that are there, and, and, and you know, and the seniors that graduated this year. We did a good job of you know, building that foundation and hopefully leaving the program, you know, uh, better off than we're doing now. What's Coach Robisky working on with you the most? Is it is there a one finer point he's trying to get at you, or is it just a rounded out game? Uh, it's a lot of things, you know. I, I can't pinpoint one thing, you know. Obviously, Coach Robisky is a great coach, and he has great receivers, you know, with you know Julio Jones, Rodney White, and those guys. So, you know, he's been around the game a lot, and he knows a lot more than we do. So, we're just trying to soak up all the knowledge about, you know, how to run certain routes, you know, the footwork with those routes, depth, and, and beating certain leverages. So, you know, he, he's given us a lot of knowledge this week. We're just trying to soak it up and apply it out, out here on the field. Uh, what's the schedule like? You back to IMG, uh, training hard for the combine, and uh, what's where you go from Mobile? Yeah, so back to IMG, um, you know, get get uh, you know back to training, get ready for the you know the, the combine coming up here pretty soon, and and then after that the pro day. So um, you know it was fun to come out here, put put the pads on. Um, so uh, you know, but back to the 40 training, get ready for the combine, and you know obviously that that's a big event for all of us. How much different is it training for that combine where it's not as much football, football. It's more about sprinting and athletics. It's different, you know. The combine, uh, it's tough for some people, you know, especially myself, because I just love playing football. That, that, that comes easy, but you know, learning, you know, testing and certain footwork and the five ten five and you know the forty and things like that. That's a little bit different. So, um, you know, there's a lot that we can learn. The coaches at IMG are doing a really good job, and um, you know, but it, it's nothing like you know preparing for a football game. If you could pick out one person in your life who's turned you into the player you are today, uh, could be coach, player, person, who would you pick and why? Definitely my dad. You know, uh, he uh, he's been around the game. You know, he played at, at CU on that national championship team, and you know, he, he coached high school football ever since I can remember. So I remember being you know a little guy going to practices and watching him draw defenses on the board and things like that. And you know, just being around him and having him coach me, you know, he really instilled a great work ethic in me, a love for the game, and, and taught me a lot about, you know, uh, going about preparing for the game.
the right way as far as mentally putting putting the time work in, watching film, and, and doing your know, board work. Mm -hmm. After this week said and done, everything's in the books. Kane, what would you like to say? I have done what at the Senior Bowl? I think I'd just like to show that I'm a versatile player and that I can play on the next level at any position. You know, whether it's quarterback. You know, obviously I haven't got a shot here, but I feel like. You know, uh, at any position that I'm at, you know, I'll be able to, to have success. So hopefully I showed them that, you know, making this transition to receiver, I, um, I've done pretty well. You know, they can look at my film and they see me play quarterback and they see me run the ball. So hopefully they know that I'm a versatile player and that I can contribute to, to their team. Uh, we'll definitely be seeing you on Sundays, Kane. Right. Thank you for the time. Thank you.